So basically my scenario here, guys, is I've hooked the ball into a hazard off the tee. Okay? I have several, I have actually five options of what I can do here. So obviously you can see that this grass is pretty tough. You know, I'm not going to play it. The ball, the water is pretty thick. That's one option. You can obviously play it from where it lies. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here and we're going to discuss our options of what we need to do for this lie. Basically what happens, anytime you hit it into a lateral water hazard, what you need to do is you need to know where the ball last crossed the hazard. So we're still in the hazard here. You can see the red stakes coming up here. So let's say the ball hooked in and it probably, let's just say we saw that it crossed right here. My options are as follows. I can basically go two club lengths from where it last crossed the hazard and I can drop it within this area, okay? And you can see that this rough is pretty thick and I have the tendency or the option of that ball might sit down. This isn't necessarily an option that I wanna take. So if the ball crossed right here, I can also keep this point between me and the hole and go as far back that way. Now, I might add 50 yards to my shot, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be able to drop it into the fairway. If there's fairway 10 yards back here, I would walk back and drop it in the fairway. That gives me a perfect shot, perfect lie, and I can drop it from the fairway. So again, you can play it from where it lies. You can go within two club lengths from where it last crossed the hazard and drop it. You can go as far back as you want or you can also go back to the tee and re-hit it. That's number four. And then five, if we can get the camera to sort of pan around here to this, to this hole, this hazard, and that's why it's marked by a red stakes, it's a lateral hazard. I can go equal and opposite distance on the other side of that hazard. So this green which sits there, there's actually fairway over there. If I'm, let's say, 100 yards from here, I could go to the other side of the hazard where I wouldn't even have to play that hazard or take it into play anymore. I could drop over there on that fairway. As long as I'm not closer to the hole, I can go over there and hit my shot up. So remember, when you hit into a lateral hazard, there are five options. You can play it, you can re-tee it, you can drop within two club lengths, you can go back as far as you want from where it last crossed, keeping that point between you and the hole, or with the lateral, you can go to the equal and opposite distance and play in from there. Knowing these five rules can really help you choose the best advantage for you and help you shoot lower scores.